Alright, welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the second round of Code A, the round of 32 and currently on screen we have our Zerg play in the third best of three match in our earlier group. This is the TSL play, it is Hyun starting in red here on Ohana, the first map. A quick shot over him and to the top left starts his opponent starting for LGIM, it is Yoda. Rocking a pretty cool hairstyle. Oh wow! Hyun is going for a nine pool here. Look at that. Yeah, he wants to be aggressive. There it is. Boom. Yeah, he really wants to be aggressive here. And Hyun, well, recently has been tearing it up online once again. He's currently he won nine fight clubs at IPL in a row. He was able to take down Bian the last time. So he won against Bian. He won against Gumiho. He won against Alive. But he mentioned earlier that he's still feeling like he's struggling a little bit against Terra and he was not able to win against Maru and Alive in the MLG qualifier. Although he stated that he did not really use his main builds because he wanted to keep them a bit of a secret. He didn't really want to use them because he was aware that Yoda most likely would check out his performance. And Yoda is currently starting to wall here and this will definitely help him. The main question is of course, when will Yoda detect that there are Zerglings on the map? Will the drone be able to block the spot for the supply depot? This is going to be really intense. Yeah, uh, he's sending his SCV down now, but I don't think this is, this is going to do anything except deter the drone. Usually don't make the second depot until uh, after the command serve if you want to win Rax expand. Six links on the way. Uh, if he is too obvious with his drone, then Yoda may actually just make the wall. Yeah. He's actually making a ton of links. He's going up to eight right now. I don't think he's going to make the wall, though. I think he just is like, oh, okay, scouting drone, putting a little bit of poke pressure on here. The question he's got a is, chance, but I think he's going to go CC. He's going to scout. He's going to scout with the SCV. He's moving out already. The drone is on the way. But is he able to dodge the SCV? This is going to be the most crucial part. He's able to dodge it, actually. Oh, wow. This could be so devastating for Yoda. If all of those Zerklings get into the main base of the Terran player, it's basically GG. And he starts another command center without having a wall up. Here come the Zerklings. There's no Marine even built. The first four are in the main base. And there will be more in just a few seconds. This is the worst possible scenario. Already an SCP falls. He's just kind of micro his lanes really nicely here. He does drop a mule. Marine dies as it spawns. And that may just be game. It's now eight lanes in the main base. Going for depot. And Yoda is, you know, this is a pretty normal build he's done. I mean, he hasn't really cut any corners, but this, this is why this build is not always 100% safe. Yeah, and the Marine dies and so die the hopes of Yoda of taking a 1-0 lead. If not for a miracle, he will lose too many Harvesters. He already is behind in the Harvest account, but only four Zerglings left. Hyun will not necessarily be able to finish the game here, but with all the Zerglings that are still streaming across the map, he's able to do quite a lot of damage. Another Marine is now out trying to make this work somehow, this defense, but so many resources already lost for Yoda. Not only the SCVs and Marines that he lost, but at the same time, of course, all the mining time that he had to sacrifice. His command sir didn't finish. This Marine will likely put an end to this attack because he can now hide with the SCVs. But Kion has a command, or rather a hatchery on the way. He's probably just gonna trade here for SCVs. He doesn't have to. Yeah, he's trying to kill a, a couple of additional harvesters. I know he get one or two here. Yeah. Nice control there. Uh, the SCV dies really well done by Hyun here. He's now at 70, 20 actually. 20 to 11 harvesters now. And those three links get out. Really nicely controlled there. Uh, and at this point, Yoda has lost a lot. Uh, yeah. He's got gas mining, does have the command center finally finished. Does not quite uh, have enough resources to make that to an orb release and then make it now. He saved up just yeah. a little bit more, but. He's, he's gonna really struggle, and Hyun is not gonna be following this up with Super Macro, he's actually getting gas. This is exactly what we mentioned earlier, the Ling attack not necessarily taking down Yoda immediately, but putting Hyun in just such an amazing spot that it's really hard for Yoda to come back. And Hyun will actually have to put in a lot of effort if he wants to lose this game. His opponent is so far behind, of course the second mule is now definitely gonna help out, but Hyun is already going for a third base, he has currently 25 to 14 harvesters, and with all the with the expansion now being finished, with the Queens already in position, with the gas that was taken, Jan is just so far ahead of his opponent that he can dictate the pace of the game now. Yep, he'll start to speed now. And from there, probably I mean he doesn't have to do this, but you could actually just make a base nest and attack. Uh, that would not surprise me at all to see him do. He's going to be able to scout with these links once more. He wants to see if there's a reactor going down, if there's any Hellions. He's going to first force the SCVs off the line. 
pop up here. Okay, aliens, just checking, just making sure, you know, just seeing what's up. He's able to get into the main base, and now he takes down those Marines. The Queen is really doing a nice job here, and of course the Zergling follow-up will finish the Marines off if he starts to run past. He doesn't have speed yet, but look at how many Zerglings are already on the whale while this third base is being built. And I don't think that Yoda actually knows about the third edge. No, he doesn't. Yeah. Going for that marine attack is is very rarely going to work. It's very desperate. He's losing his brain sound in the middle of the map, but it's it's something he had to do because he was like, well, hopefully he took a risk. I don't know what's what's really going on over there. He's already pulling out of his natural because he knows the speedling potential fall up here. Oh, is there? And also the SV that's building the bunker is so low on hit points. Boom. Yeah. He will lose it. He will most likely have to cancel his bunker too. Speed and now is about to finish. And not only the speed, there are so many zerglings being built now. This is so much aggression out of Jan. He doesn't want to give Yoda time and space to breathe. But the Hellions are out, and this is going to be tricky, but it's done. It's done, and he surrounds the first one immediately. Second one is trying to get out of there. He can actually trap it if he wants to, and he does. He traps the Hellion at least for a short amount of time. Working at those supply depots, but more and more Hellions are now out. He's continuing to produce Zerflings here. A third queen, of course, at the third base. There's a ton of wings he's not using, though, to the right side. He actually had about 12 wings over there. It could have been in the main base right now. I like that he put a ling on top of the depot specifically so it could not be raised. That's going to be really useful right now. Here come the rest of the lings. The Hellions are too much for him, though. He did, he did do a lot of damage, but he is going to be deflected. Yeah, there are a lot of Hellions and they're being repaired by the SCVs. Yoda is playing this really well, but done now with the tech to layer. Cloak is being researched for a Terran player who loses his supply depot, but has still enough Hellions to make this defense work. A few links trying to run in and take down a couple of additional SCVs, but really well played by Yoda here. But it, of course, doesn't distract from the fact that he's still far behind in this game. Yeah, he's really far behind. All the links did die, but the work count is 38 to 22. Young is actually... Uh, Charitying him a little bit right now at this point, though. He's got to stop sending links in two by two. I mean, he's literally giving them away for free right now. Does finally reset that rally. Bit of a mistake there. I feel he actually could have ended the game if he had the, those 12 links with the rest of his army, but in the end, he's still really ahead. He does have to deal with this Hellion pressure that's coming down to the south, though. That is a lot of Hellions. Yeah, this is a little bit tricky. He runs in with the Zerglings once again, but does he have enough in order to defend here? He can block the ramp, of course, but this is really tricky. There come more links, and the Queens are now in position as well. He definitely has enough to make his defense work. At the same time, the natural of Yoda is being attacked by the remaining Zerglings to the top left. He actually had to lift. And now the links are heading into the main base, and there is only one Hellion. The Hellion will be surrounded. The Banshee can do damage, but the Harvesters are once again being pressured. Sporkola is built at home, a lot of drones. Yan is macroing it up like a boss, and Yoda is falling farther and farther behind. But well, we now have this, exactly the Spire attack. The Spire is going to be the nail in the coffin, because he has no way of dealing with this. Right now he's making a fight. The uh, Hellion's not killing anything here. GG. A lot of aggression by Hyun in game number one. Able to win uh, the initial game map against his opponent, against Yoda, and taking a lead in the best of three. A pretty straight up aggression build there. Catching his opponent off guard. Then uh, following up with some really big pressure. The micro, I think, was, was what really stood out to me, though. When his micro with his lings when he first got in there was insane. Always making sure to target down that marine that came out of the barracks. That is the critical part, because if a few marines get out, then your lings just can't really accomplish anything. The SUVs run around, your lings die, and then you're like, okay, that was that. But really nice control, keeping those lings alive a long time in the main base. And one of the crucial things was that he did not overcommit with his drone in the early beginning. If you keep the drone at the spot where the Terran player would build the additional supply depot and you try to block it, then uh, of course your opponent will realize what exactly you're up to and then try to get the supply depot. But he just moved back, he continued to produce a few Zerglings and was like, okay, I will have to gamble here a little bit and I still can, uh, can just put pressure onto him. There was no wall there for the Zerglings, but just running in, no problem at all and all this damage was too much for you uh, for Yoda to recover and now the second game is about to start the map is going to be Antigua shipyard so a slight advantage for the LGIM player in the second game yeah taking that early lead here map is loading see if Hyun wants to play aggressive a tough map for Zerg hard to take a fourth base and we're in it <laughs> 